Hello and welcome to the section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to work another problem with Thevenin equivalent circuits and we're going to try to find the Thevenin equivalent between terminals A and B of this complicated looking circuit here. So you see we have resistors, we have a 4 amp source, we have a dependent voltage source in this case. The value of this voltage is 160 times I delta. I delta is defined to be flowing down through the 40 ohm resistor. So we have a mixture of independent sources like this and dependent sources like what we have at the top. But in all cases, no matter what your circuit looks like, when you're finding the Thevenin equivalent, you first find the Thevenin voltage, which is just the open circuit voltage looking from terminals A and B. So what we're going to do is much like we've done in problems in the past, is we're going to define our meshes and then we're going to solve a system of mesh equations to figure out what, how the circuit's behaving and find out what this open circuit voltage is. All right, so to get started, let's go ahead and define our meshes. There's mesh one, I sub one. Here is mesh I sub two. Here is mesh I sub three. So there's only three meshes, it's not too bad. Uh, and then we start to walk around here to go figure out what the first mesh is, but we realize we have a current source in the way which is exactly what we had in the last problem. So we need to skip over that current source because I don't know what the voltage across it is to put into my mesh equation, right? So what I'm really going to do is take a look at a super mesh that's gonna go all the way over here, right? And basically just skip over that. And then I'll just need to make sure and pick up enough constraint equations so that I can, I can solve the problem. All right, so let's walk around through the 60 ohm resistor. The voltage drop there is gonna be I1 times 60, that's IR. Walk through the 20 ohm resistor. The only current here that matters is I sub two. So it's I sub two times 20 across there. And then I get over here to this uh, voltage source. I'm going through a voltage drop, so it's a plus sign, 160 I delta, and I'll deal with I delta later. And I get to the 80 ohm. The current flowing through the 80 ohm resistor is the difference I2 minus I3 times 80, and then the result is equal to zero because I'm done with that loop. So let's multiply and simplify. So 60 I1 plus 20 I2 plus 160 I delta plus, here we distribute in 80 I2 minus 80 I3, and this is equal to zero. Now let's go ahead and simplify for the I1. I don't have any more I1, so it'll be 60 I1. For I2, I have this guy and I have the 80, so it's gonna be 100 I sub two. And then for I sub three, it's gonna be negative 80 I sub three. And then let me go ahead and write my 160 I delta last, all right? So this is fine, I mean, this is a good start, but the problem is because I have that dependent voltage source up there, I've got an I delta running around. I don't, I don't want to have a system of equations with one of these control currents running around. What I want is a system of equations involving my meshes only. So what I do immediately is I say, and once I've kind of simplified this super mesh down, and what is I delta equal to? When you look at it, I delta is the same current as mesh three current because I, I three is circulating here, so what you really have is I delta is equal to I3. I delta is I3. So really what you want to do is you want to plug this in, and that way your equation no longer involves I delta. It involves I1, I2, and I3. So let's switch colors and do that. So what I'm going to have is 60 times I1 plus 100 